There it is. It's showtime and they racing away. And one track gave away about three lengths. Diva Faustina out in a flash. Tiger Lace right there. Pokemon Shuffle pokes her way through and she goes up to join the leaders. Front 50's got the rail. Then comes Truth of Beauty and the yellow colours racing one off the fence and Saturn Rock was next. Ash Down is racing alongside of Secret Potion and Wind Dancer three wide on the outside. Two lengths away to All A Buzz. That's got one behind. The slow starting one track is the trailer as they went through the 1100 metre area. Diva Faustina and Pokemon Shuffle share the lead past the 1,000 meters mark. Back at the rail is Tiger Lace and she's been perfectly placed by Craig Zaki. Now passed by Saturn Rock who's improved her place. Truth of Beauty races about four lengths off the leader. Two away to front 50 who feels the squeeze. Secret Potion has now edged ahead of her. Wind Dancer on the wide outside. The one green and the one orange sleeve has got about six or seven lengths to make up. After them all a buzz. Ashdown is further back and one track is the trailer. Diva Faustina into the final 500 meters is in front. Pokemon Shuffle is second. Tiger laces up the inside. Then comes Saturn Rock. Truth of Beauty is towards the outside. Secret Potion. What sleeves and cap has still got about four or five lengths to make up. Diva Faustina is in the lead. Up the inside is Tiger Lace. Then comes Truth of Beauty. Followed further back by Pokemon Shuffle and Secret Potion is having the penny drop right at the end. But it's Tiger Lace in front. Second place Diva Faustina and Secret Potion is charging at them. It's it's Tiger Lace just in front, Secret Potion, it's close, very, very close, Secret Potion or Tiger Lace, then third to Diva Faustina, and they were ahead of Truth of Beauty. And uh, away they go, Majestic Mumbo gave away about one length. Royal Resolution hopped up beautifully, right off to the lead, finding Troyer's second, just three parts of a length behind. Third place is Water Storm, followed further back by Harrington Port in the striped sleeves and cap. Mario Lanza further back, Soldat improves a few places. Plucky Plundra got no luck racing at the outside of runners. After them, we find Flexible Fugitive. He's just behind midfield. Majestic Mumbo and the Mars Man, they travel together. The Falls Road is towards the rear, and Dionysus is the trailer, and they strung out about a dozen lengths in it. It's Royal Resolution, who makes play about two lengths in front. In second position, uh, back at the rail is Finding Troy. Outside of them, the white sleeves of Soldat, who's been improving all the while they're now gone up to race in that second position further back in the field to Harrington Ports and the striped sleeves and cap what a storm is one off the rail in the yellow sleeves and cap under Greg Sheen further back in the field to Mario Lanza then comes the Falls Road and Flexible Fugitive they next in line the Mars Man Majestic Mumbo is out after those and Dionysus is the trailer 700 meters left to go and Royal Resolution guards them into the strip is the leader in second position is Sol Dart finding Troy Blue Sleeves and Cap is third, a length away to Harrington Port. Then comes Waterstorm, now passed by Flexible Fugitive. Majestic Mumbo further back and Mario Lanza. Into the final 500 metres and Royal Resolution still in front. Finding Troy Soldat shares second. Then Harrington Port, Majestic Mumbo is making inroads and Flexible Fugitive up the inside rail. It's Royal Resolution in front under Corey Brown. Majestic Mumbo flying. Majestic Mumbo in a matter of strides has put the race to bed. Majestic Mumbo and Thierry Tullias won it by four. Second will go to either Harrington Port or in the uh, far side Royal Resolution. And fourth also got close sold. Dart Flexible Fugitive are involved with the Falls Road. Them. Gates open and they racing away. Starter got them in a good line. Savage Wind got out nicely. Cess is right there. So too Dromedaris Ali Bonduba landed with the leaders and that is right there in the early stages. King's Drive towards the outside is also vying up for the early lead. Reminiscence races about four to five lengths off the leader. Arlington is at the inside. Then comes Miesk's run but they're crawling towards us. After them to Sunset Boy. Then comes Standen Fortune Feller. Past the winning line for the first time and it's Cess in the lead by one length. Second place is Dromedaris. Two away to King's Drive. Ali Bon Dubai and Reminiscence has got the rail. Savage Wind races in midfield in the green sleeves and cap. Followed further back towards the outside by Eastern Pearl who loops runners three deep on the outside. Arlington was next best. After them to Fortune Filler. That's racing about ten lengths off the leader. Sunset Boy was further back in the field. Then the red sleeves and cap of Stunned who's won from last and the trailer is Miesk's Rumba. 
They make their way past the 2,000 metres mark and it's Cess in the lead under Corey Brown. It's got a one length advantage. Dromedaris Insiders reminiscence under Thierry Tullier's and the internationals are one, two, and three, and even four with Ali Bon Dubai and Martin Dwyer racing in fourth, but about eight lengths off the leader. The front three are cracking on. Further back in the field, the yellow sleeves and cap of Arlington and Greg Sheen. Outside of that, we find King's Drive, and that is the ride of Shamie Heffernan, and they race about 10 lengths off the leader. A further length away to Easton Pearl, who races three deep under PJ McDonald. Savage Wind and Kamalo's one off the rail. Then back at the fence is Fortune Feller and Gavin Larina. A further length away to the red sleeves and cap of Stunned and Lyle Hewitson. Outside of that one, the white sleeves and cap of Craig Zaki with Sunset Boy. And Miesk's Rumba is at the back of the field as they continue along down the corner of the track. And it's Cess in the lead by just over one length. Second place is Dromedaris. Back at the rail is Reminiscence. And these front three are still about four lengths in front of Ali Bon Dubai who races in fourth. A further length away to Arlington who's got the rails. They now stack up and race about six lengths off the lead of the midfield group. King's Drive and the pink sheepskin noseband is kept company by Sunset Boy. Then further back in the field, Miesk's Rumba improved a place or two. Savage Wind has lost a place or two. Then comes Stunned and the trailer is Sunset Boy. They inline for home. 600 metres left to go and Cess continues to lead. Second place is Dromedaris. Ali Bon Dubai is third. Reminiscence is going in the wrong direction. Miesk's Rumba is making a forward move. Further back to King's Drive and then comes Eastern Pearl. Dromedaris the orange and green. Ali Bon Dubai nearest us and Cess up the inside. The front three are internationals. Cess in the yellow. Then Dromedaris in the orange and green. Ali Bon Dubai races in third. A breakaway to King's Drive. Cess is coming right back. Nearest us, Ali Bon Dubai and Dromedaris in between them. Three of them and a humdinger. It goes to Dromedaris. Dromedaris has won. Second will go the way of Ali Bon Dubai. Then came Cess and King's Drive. All clear comes. And uh, away they go. Pennington Sands gave away about two lengths. Return to power out in a flash. Smoky affair right there in the early stages. Comsi Comsa is looping runners in the red sleeves and cap. And also on the move is Blueberry Pie. And she now moves up to go and take over the lead. Sea Bean in the yellow. And Corey Brown has got the rail in a share of fourth. Then comes No Sir, joined by Seattle Tango. Dame Kelly just behind midfield with Sabina's dynasty for company. Snowdonia must be racing about a dozen lengths off the leader. Costa de Sol is next. And Pennington Sands sees them all. There's about 15 lengths in it down the side of the track. Smoky Affair takes them along. Second position is Blueberry Pie. In between them is Return to Power. Then comes C. Bean with Seattle Tango racing around three lengths off the leader. No sir further back. That's exposed without cover. Out after them is Costa de Sol. Sabina's dynasty is in the blue sleeves and cap. Com C. Com sir midfield. Then comes Dane Kelly. Followed further back by Snowdonia. And finally still Pennington Sands. Off the false rail they go. Smoky Affair has now been tackled by return to power. C. Bean in the yellow is starting to tighten up. Up towards the inside. Com C. Com Sa. Seattle Tango. Sabina's dynasty got three to make up in between runners. 200 meters left to go. C. Bean is the leader. Snowdonia. Sabina's dynasty towards the outside. Seattle Tango. C. Bean in the lead. Snowdonia is cutting her way through and beginning to finish. C. Bean but Snowdonia full of running takes over the lead. Costa de Sol up the inside. It's Snowdonia who beat Costa de Sol. C. Bean ran third and Pennington Sands ran on strongly for fourth. 1600 meters and away in racing. Got the way to a good start. Salmon Run began well. Capenta Bay along the inside also one of the first to respond. Power of Love is up there in the early stages. They followed on the outside of runners there by Chartwell who races just a couple of lengths off the leader. Further back uh, behind those comes Iridium Silver, about three or four lengths off the gallop. They followed by Monarch Airs along the rail. Further back in the field comes Saddle Force, giving them about seven lengths start. Iridium Silver, then comes Sammy Musa further back in the field. Quebec Queen races about eight or nine lengths off the field towards the rear end of them. Then comes Rose Water and Wrap It Up is the trailer. Now there's got to be a good dozen lengths covering them now as they reach the thousand metre marker. And out in front, Capenta Bay has gone well clear. Capenta Bay leads them by about six or seven lengths here from Power of Love in second. 
Chartwell races up in third position. Down the inside is Monarch Air. Further back in the field comes Corey Brown. He rides Salmon Run. He's got seven, eight lengths to make up. Further back to Iridium Silver, Rosewater, and Sammy Musa tries to make up ground towards the inside. Then comes behind those flowing gown down the centre. They head on down with only 300 metres to go, and Capenta Bay shot its bolt down the inside. Monarch Air further to the inside. Rosewater, the red sleeves, and cap Sammy Musa. Then comes towards the outside, Salmon Run, and flowing gown also runs. Running on anyone's call. Monarch Air hits the front here. Monarch Air, Rosewater, big danger, but it's going to be Monarch Air. Monarch Air beat Rosewater. Third place will go to Sammy Musa up along the inside. And then came Flowing Gown. Further back in the field was Saddle Force. Scratching number three, Elusive Singer, short both front. Gates open, and they are racing away. A little bit slow to begin was Shortstop. Bubbly Repla landed running straight off to the lead. Grasshopper in the yellow is second. Raging Flame, a bit of a fighter against the inside rail. That's now been joined by Mumbo Symphony on the wide outside. And even wider is just a gigolo on the move to go and improve a few places. Sabre Dance was next and Highway 85 nestles into just behind midfield. Then comes Carve the Turkey, the white sleeves and cap with only two behind. Those two behind are shortstop and Captain Chips down the side of the track. 800 metres left to go. Bubbly Reply is one length in front. Grasshopper is just behind in second. Then comes Just a Gigolo with Raging Flame against the rail. The Black Sleeves and Cap in that fourth position. Just a Gigolo is deeper out and has been exposed all the way. Mumbo Symphony is midfield. Then comes Highway 85. Followed further back by Sabre Dance. Out after them towards the outside is Carve the Turkey. Short stop and Captain Chips is up the far side. But it's Bubbly Reply who goes for home. It's two lengths in front. Grasshopper is second. Then comes Mumbo Symphony towards the outside. Is Sabre Dance trying to make an impression? Captain Chips has gone past plenty. Up the inside rail. Bubbly Reply is the leader. He clings on for dear life. Captain Chips a length away. Then further back in the field to shortstop. Bubbly Reply continues to run. Captain Chips is eating up the ground but Bubbly Reply made it in for Lyle Hewitson. Second to Captain Chips. Then came shortstop. That'll ensure PJ McDonald is a victor Ladorum. And fourth got close Highway 85 and Mumbo Symphony are involved.